Welcome to Rebel Life Boxing, where I talk boxing and anything in between. Make sure to catch new videos daily at 9 a.m., 9.30 a.m., 1 p.m., and 5 p.m. Also, catch an early bird video weekdays at 6 a.m. Support the channel, and thanks for watching. So Terrence Crawford has came out and stated that Canelo Alvarez avoids black fighters for the most part. And I've briefly touched on this in a past video. I forgot how long ago, but I did touch on this. Is it true, though? Does Canelo Alvarez avoid black fighters? Well, let's run through his resume real quick. This ain't going to be long. And let's see if he really does avoid black fighters. Now, Canelo Alvarez started his pro career back in 2005. His first, let's, you know, I'm not going to run through all these names, but I'm going to say it like this. From the first fight was a, was a Hispanic dude, Abraham Gonzalez. From, from, from Abraham Gonzalez all the way to, this is 05 now, to Sean Holly. Now, I don't know who Sean Holly is, but I know one thing. The dude is unimportant. He has eight wins, 21 losses, and he's been knocked out about, about 12 times. So this dude is a nobody. They, he's so unimportant. They don't box rec don't even have a picture of him. All they have is a, a cartoon cutout of a of a of a head. That is that's crazy. But let's go on. So I I'm gonna have to put a question mark on that because I don't know who Sean. Let me look and see his nationality. Okay. His nationality is USA, and it says he's from Inglewood, California. So I can only assume he's black. I, I, I can't. I, I'm not gonna count him because I don't see his nationality. He could be white. I don't know. But Sean Holly sounds like a black dude. But we're gonna leave him off the list. So from 2005, Abraham Gonzalez was his first fight as a pro. From 2005 all the way. And by, oh, another thing, he fought this guy named Francisco Villanueva, right? This dude has four wins to, to date, bro. Well, to date, he has 15 wins, 36 losses. Canelo Alvarez fought this Francisco Villanueva dude three times. What the fuck are you doing fighting the same dude three times that early on in your career? I, I've never seen anything like that, man. Three times. He fought him in 08. And then he fought him again in, uh, he fought him in 08. Then he fought him in, uh, a while before, like, 08. Damn. I said 08. Then he fought, he fought him two times in the same fucking year. He fought in March in 08. Then he fought him June 08. I thought I was tripping. I'm like, okay, I Maybe these dudes got the same name. I click on it. It's the same person three times. Then he fought him again in 06. The first time he fought him was 06. Then he fought him twice in 2008, man. Come on, man. You That ain't notable of no rematch, bro. He You whipped his ass three times. It's not like the dude was a big name. That, that's crazy. But anyway, I'm going to say it again. From 05 all the way up to 2000 2008 he didn't fight no blacks for three years his first black fighter was really larry mosley that was in 08 so he fought larry mosley 08 then the next black the next black person he fought was from 08 was love more endo 2010 then he fought Shane Mosley in 2012. And then he fought Austin Trout in 2013. Floyd Mayweather in 2013. Average Londi Lara in 2014. James Kirkland 2015. And then he fought um, uh, Daniel Jacobs in 2019. So that's pretty much nine black people. Eight or nine black people Canelo has fought out of 58 fights. So now you tell me Terrence Crawford is tripping when he said that. I'm not sure exactly why Canelo, he does dip around black fighters. He's doing it now. He's moving and shaking around the Charlos. He's moving and shaking around Andrade. 
I guess he's like, damn, man, Arizlani Lara and Floyd Mayweather gave him issues. So did Austin Trout F in, in a sense. But really, Lara and Floyd gave him real problems. So I guess he's like, damn, I don't want I don't want them kind of problems no more, man. So I'm a shake and move. You know, maybe they too athletic. We maybe black folks too athletic for him. I don't know what it is. But he fought Daniel Jacobs because Daniel Jacobs didn't look the best in his fight before he fought Canelo. So I guess he figured, all right, you know, um, let me let me fight Dick Jacobs. He's not really mobile like that. He don't got the best footwork. I, I could bang with Jan Daniel Jacobs. Maybe that's what it is. You know, but you be the judge, man. Let me know what you think. Unbelievable, man, when you look back at Canelo's resume. But when you really, when you really look at his resume, compared to, like, other fighters... Yeah, he fought champions, but then you be, you gotta figure, you gotta be like, damn, the caliber of the champion. Cause listen, man, sometimes champions don't earn belts. Sometimes they they're not, you know, they got their belt off of somebody that wasn't really that didn't really need to have the belt. You know, whipped on somebody that was nobody that got the belt for other reasons. You know what I mean? So you gotta look at shit like that, bro. And He's fought a handful of good fighters, man. Most of his fighters were were lower tier competition, man. I'm just keeping it all the way real. He just really started fighting good competition. When you think about it, all his fighters, all his good fights was like, what? Starting in like 2012, something like 2011, 12. That's like seven, eight years ago. So like all those other fights was pretty much he was just running through everybody that was low tier comp. Prove me wrong. Most of them. But get back to me, man. Let me know what y'all think about Canelo Alvarez. Does he do, does he intentionally avoid black fighters? Drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Support the channel. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.